Okay, you guys. So, I'm gonna be getting ready with y'all and telling y'all about um, how I got treated after my procedure at Spina Aesthetics in Miami. Before you get your surgery and stuff like that, you have they send you like a um it's an email and it's like a i think you call it a, a portal and you have to complete steps before getting your procedure done so you have to get you have to go to the doctors to make a clear for surgery you have to get labs um you have to answer like a questionnaire and yeah so me i did everything with class in it so first is the questionnaire and then it's your meeting with the doctor i think and then your labs and then every time you finish something they check it off right so they would call me and they're like hey like we've seen um got your results this and that like da, da, da. they're really good about that so in my head, I'm like, oh my god, like I really chose a good facility to get my procedure done with. Um, I was really excited. So even whenever we went to Miami, because we had uh, we had to get there a day before so that we couldn't meet with the doctor the day before my surgery. So we went and even everybody there at the clinic was nice. Like it, they didn't give me no vibes where they were like, okay, um, I don't want to go through it after all. Like, no, like, everybody was nice, okay? So, let's fast forward to my surgery day. I get there. Everybody is still nice to me, okay? I met with the the med aide or the nurse. I don't know. And she wasn't a nurse. I think she was a med aide. And then I met with the anesthesiologist. And then the doctor came in. He told me how I wanted my body. Um... Cause he, the day before he told me to just have pictures or whatever. So he's like, do you have the pictures? I'm like, yes. So I showed him the picture and he started marking me up. And the thing that I kind of regret is I just showed him the picture and I told him that I wanted my heart to be upside down, but I didn't tell him exactly how I really wanted my body. I wanted like a lot of hips, a big butt. Like I didn't care if he didn't match my legs. And I don't know, the doctor, like whenever he went in there, the doctor is very intimidating. And I just think that's ink doctor, like, Doctors are very intimidating to me, so like the day before that I met him, I got so scared. Like I just I didn't know. Like my mind went blank. I didn't know what to ask him. And then the day of my surgery too, like my mind went blank too, and I was like, oh my god, like it's scary. So yeah, I just told him that so he starts marking me up or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's probably the only thing that I do regret is like not telling him exactly how I wanted my body. Because I feel like my butt could have been a little bit more higher and I could have probably got a little bit more fat removed from my back. And my stomach's completely flat. Like there's no fat there. But for my back, for sure, kind of. I don't know if it's fat or loose skin. Because I had a big back, y'all. I was a very big back. Bitch. Okay, that shit was huge. Okay. So yeah, my misogyny said that it's just like loose skin. So. She's gonna tighten it up, I think. Or she does tighten, I'm gonna have to tell her if she could do it for me. But yeah, so, um, I go in, like the doctor's like, okay, like, but not the doctor, the anesthesiologist comes back. I think he's the one that walks me. Yeah, he walks me to the surgery room. And then uh, the girl that, the med aid, she was like, good luck. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. But I didn't know it was gonna be like, right, going there at surgery time. Like I didn't know that, but I was gonna have a little bit like, I think I was gonna have to wait a little bit, but no. I was one of the first ones there, I got there at 10 a.m. So um, they laid me down and everybody is still nice at this point. And they're like, he puts a mask on me. He says, okay, breathe in and out. I breathe in and breathe out. And I wake up crying and screaming. Like, girl, that knocked me out so fast. So I woke up crying and screaming. I was on my back 
and my brother like tells me like you cannot lay on your back like you have to lay on your stomach your fat's gonna die i better dye my hair he's like the fat's gonna die or whatever so i'm freaking out but i think it's okay like right after surgery because a lot of girls like wake up on their back and their butt so i started yelling because i'm in so much pain you guys like the medicine did not help me so i'm screaming or whatever and the, they had the curtains are closed so the nurse comes and she's like you need to be quiet like i don't even see faces okay like i'm laying down looking up like i don't see no faces or anything and then she's like you need to be quiet there's other patients in here and i'm like um i'm thirsty like where's my mom where's my mom because the videos that i seen like there are people like are there like in front of them like around there they wake up whenever they wake up so i'm like where's my mom and then she's like um yeah be quiet be quiet and it was another person too but like i said i didn't really see their faces but i'm pretty sure they were the nurses and if you guys watched my first youtube video like y'all know exactly what i'm talking about it was that fucking nurse okay and um so like i'm thirsty cause I'm, I'm i'm thirsty and so they gave me gatorade but i don't think i was supposed to have gatorade so i'm like can i have some water and they just have fucking attitude y'all like i'm crying in pain i'm not fucking crying and like yelling because i'm just being rude to you no like i'm in pain so I remember them giving me water, and then I, I'm like, can you help me turn? And they're like, do it yourself. And I'm like, I need help. Like, I'm in so much pain. And so they literally made me do it by myself. They closed the curtain and made me do it by myself. And I was like, okay. So whenever I turned over, I remember just crying and crying. And then I just fell back asleep. I just remember them telling me, get up. And I got up. I don't remember them putting me in the wheelchair or nothing. And then I woke up outside. So I kept blacking out. After that, whenever I go outside, then y'all can see in the first YouTube video that the nurse was still talking to me stupid in front of my mom and my brother. And I told my mom, like, they're being used to me. But she thought that I was playing. She thought that I was still on, like, my medicine, which I was still, like, on the, um, what did they put you to sleep? Like, I was still was on that. But, like, I know, like, I knew what was going on. So, I probably think that the nurses thought that I was, like, high off the medicine. But really, like, no. Like, that shit did not. It was worn off. And I was in so much pain. And I remember everything that it did to me. So, yeah. So, if y'all want to see how she was talking to me, it's in my first, first week post-op video. <sighs> yeah. So, then, um, I get to the hotel and i'm fine like i'm still i'm like napping or whatever but i really don't want to go to sleep like i was just taking like cat naps like five to minute naps like i just i didn't want to sleep and so i finally woke up and i was good after like taking like fucking eight naps and then i started crying because i'm telling my close friends on my instagram i'm like how they were treating me so then after that like after i started crying girl i did not stop crying until two hours later like it finally all hit me and i was like i literally just came out of a major surgery and for you guys to treat me like that like it wasn't the doctor it wasn't nobody else but that nurse and somebody else in that room with that nurse um and for y'all to treat me like that like the aftercare is not it not it and i had a lot of people on my tiktok tell me that they also with me aesthetics in different cities and it's like that too like the aftercare is not it so they just want you to just leave already so i start crying and i'm like and my mom comes because she went to the store and then she comes she's like what's wrong and i'm like they're being so mean to me and i was telling her everything and then she's like uh-uh like i'm gonna call them and so like i literally couldn't like stop crying um and i was crying like <laughs> like i couldn't talk cry like that cry and so she calls them and i'm gonna put the video because i did record what they said Hi, may I speak to um, the manager for the um, the clinical manager over post-op or surgery, please? Um, do you have any information with us? Yeah, you just had surgery. Yes, um, my daughter just had surgery and I'm trying to report how she was treated. She was mistreated and, and oh. I don't appreciate them even speaking to her the way they did. And now she's crying and all emotional because you guys decided to mistreat her. So I'm, I need to report that. I, I need to figure out what the problem was. 
Um, because when I picked her up, the, even the nurses were just basically saying she was crying, and there was just a lot of inappropriate comments that was made. So I don't appreciate that. I I, I want to report it. Okay, Miss, can you provide for me, please, your daughter's phone number? I'm her mother. Okay. Okay. And pretty much, um, the surgery. Um, when I picked her up, when they called me, she was crying in the background, but I didn't know it was her. But I figured, you know, with surgery, you know, you never know how the patients are gonna, you know, react. Mm -hmm. So when I, mm -hmm. when the nurses, I asked how they did, one of the nurses said that she don't know if my daughter expected that type of level of pain and that she was crying, but everything went good. Mm -hmm. And so pretty much she said, I don't know, I don't know if your daughter knew what she was walking into. So I didn't think nothing of it. My daughter comes out with another nurse and so the nurse, you know, obviously was trying to get my daughter in the car, not physically, but just telling her to get in there. And um, so my daughter, she like looked like she was crying. So I told her, are you okay, mama? How did everything go? And she said, uh, she didn't say nothing until the nurse left. And then when, when I shut the door to the car, she started crying and she said that they treated her really bad. They were being really mean to her. And I'm like, what do you mean? I thought maybe she was coming off of the anesthesia or something, you know, or maybe she was just overreacting or something. So I didn't think nothing of it, you know, because I was like, well, should I go in there and see what happened? Or, you know, like, why are you saying they're being mean to you? And why are you crying? But I thought maybe she was just, you know, going through the emotions of the surgery. So anyways, um, hours have passed and she's still very emotional. She's crying. She said that they were talking to her so ugly. They were telling her to stop crying, stop screaming. There's other patients that um, she's never going to get surgery again. Acting that way, they were laughing. She kept asking them for help, saying she was thirsty. And they basically kept ignoring her, just telling her to stop acting that way. So to me, it's like, this is... This, I mean, you guys should be very aware of how different people are going to act. And even with that, I understand if she was maybe being loud or crying or something and y'all are calming her down or something. I totally get that part. They would part. just tell me, be but, quiet, and they would close the curtain. Yeah, and I mean, she's standing right here. She's very emotional. She's like crying and crying and crying. And um, I just told her, you know what, let me just call and let me see what happened because you know and she's like mom they even told me i was never gonna have surgery again those little comments literally shouldn't they even it's a it's inappropriate it's, it's very they inappropriate that and they laughed after all the people that were in the room so it wasn't the doctor it was whatever nurses were in the room present with her okay the answer i have for you miss erica i have one question one more question uh-huh yes miss erica what is the bar token for her anybody talking to bar with her is the doctor or the nurse anybody it was the nurses um, that were supposed to be assisting her. She didn't have a problem with the doctor. It was the okay. the, the women that were helping her. Okay. After surgery. After okay. surgery when she was in the recovery room. Okay, that happened after the surgery, correct? Yeah. And so no one helping her? Nobody helping her? Right. When she was in the recovery room and she was crying and stuff, they were just telling her to be quiet. They kept... Closing the curtain. Closing the curtain, telling her she has other patients. They have other patients. And she then... Laughing at me. She said they were laughing at... She's right here if you want to speak to her. But she said they were laughing at her and that they're... They told her you're never going to have another surgery again. And she said they were laughing. So... Uh. I, okay, I, in the clinic telling her, in the clinic also telling her she will never get a other surgery. Right. Do you remember who was it that said that? I didn't even look at their faces. And then I was, when I woke up, I was on my back. And I was like, can you guys help me? Relax, relax. Yeah, she's very, I, I don't know exactly I what said, happened. can you guys help me turn over? And they were like, no, do it yourself. They said do it yourself? <laughs> yeah. See, like, I, Miss Erica, I am really going to apologize for that. that doctor, she loved the doctor. It was just whoever was in the recovery room. If that was the case, y'all couldn't handle my daughter. Like, I know she's an adult, but it was, I was a phone call away, you know, and I could have calmed her down or I don't yeah. know. But I, she, you're not, you're not going to tell me she's the only patient that cries after a major surgery. Like, you're, I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah. know. I wasn't yeah. there, but it's, 
My daughter, we picked her up at um, this morning, almost eight o'clock. It's 12 o'clock and she's still crying from this. She, I, I have a <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go no, um, ahead, Go ahead. No, I, I just, um, yeah, I feel the need to just report it. I, I, I really don't know what was going on, but if that's the way patients are being treated, that's like really sad because these patients are already going through a lot, and then to sit there and be treated like that—that's not fair at all. Miss Erica, I really understand. I am really sorry for that because I understand. I sometimes is like the supposed not talk to you like that because she coming from one thirty. She have pain. She have a lot of pain after the procedure done. I feel so like supposed to talk to nice and not speak to her like that. With Erica, maybe can I press you and I her for one moment, please? I have to send in over that information for the clinic to review that, okay? Because that cannot happen again. Okay. Thank you so can much. You, maybe can I press you and her for one moment, please? Okay. Thank you so much. Can you also add in the notes that I called the um, post-op department, spoke to Kenneth, and he hung up on me. And then when I called back, he just kept being quiet and told me that I needed... First, he said, I'm going to transfer to a clinical manager. And then he hung up, and then I tried calling back several times, and it was he didn't even say hello. It was just blank. So then I was scared to go like that um, to get my massages because I'm like, I don't want to deal with them being rude to me. And if I find out that I filed a complaint, like, I don't want them to be mean to me. But no, even after I went to go do my massages, everybody was so nice to me still. So it was just that nurse that I just had a problem with, like, the aftercare. And yeah, that's the story time about how they treated me there. And Somebody had commented on my TikTok. They were like, you're so dramatic. You know they didn't yell at you like that. They did yell at me like that. And I have a lot of girls in my TikTok comments that said the same thing. Not just in Miami. Like, a few went to Miami too, but like in Vegas and wherever the city they're in. They went to go do it at. I have a lot of people. But there is this girl that she did get her... Um, I guess everybody is just different. Whoever nurse you get because um this girl that i follow she said that they weren't that rude to her like she asked for water she had to ask for water for a couple times and they finally gave it to her but they weren't like as rude to her i think that's what she said and i was like oh well, i'm glad that she kind of had a good experience but i did not like i was fucking traumatized and yeah that's what it is and um people keep saying that because i keep telling them like my doctor like my doctor doesn't have bad reviews it's the facility that has bad reviews like the whole facility and all my doctor does not and they're like your doctor does have bad reviews like da, da, da. no he doesn't i'm gonna keep saying that my doctor does not have bad reviews look even in the at the knee aesthetics reviews they're gonna say that my doctor dr Shu, is good they love his work. They had bad work and they fixed it with him and they love it. Like, not bad work from him, bad work from another doctor. And they went to go face with Dr. Shu and they love their work. Um, he's like one of the top in Miami. So, yeah. Y'all could do your research on my doctor. My doctor does not have bad reviews. It's the facility. Okay. But there's a lot of doctors within that facility. I think there's like five doctors in the Mia Aesthetics Miami. So yeah, that's just how they treated me. Hi you guys. Oh, I just touched on my, I'm getting this removed. So that's why it's red like that. I literally just went today. So it's like all bleeding and stuff. And I just touched it with my hands, but <clears throat> I'm so out of breath y'all. This Faha, it's not doing me no justice, but here's how is everybody how is everybody's easter let me know i know that starbucks is canceled but my mom got this cup before it was canceled and it's just water so yeah and it's pink so I'm just we're gonna face it this way okay Get ready with me while I tell y'all about my five weeks and I answer questions so far based off my five weeks. I was just thinking in the restroom the 
earlier i was like this is my first time ever getting a bbl you guys like i'm barely learning every day as i go like y'all are gonna see more whenever i answer questions um some things that i probably told y'all have probably changed honestly because like i said this is my first time ever getting bbl so i'm still learning um but yeah let's get started also i just want to say sorry for not uploading on wednesday and my voice sounds a little like i am sick so yeah but um we we're supposed to upload wednesday but i don't know what happened um i think my room was finished getting um like painted and stuff like that so like i didn't really have nowhere to film and stuff like that and I could have filmed at my brother's room, but I think Jamie was filming videos that day. The living room was crazy filled with stuff, you know, like with all my stuff from my room. So it was nowhere to film. But we're back on schedule. This video is going to go out a little later because it is 6 o'clock and we usually post at 6 o'clock. But it's going to get posted today and after that we'll be back on schedule. Um, so yeah, let's get ready. First, I'm going to start off by putting some aquaphor. I've been really dry on my hands. Like this weather change is not it in Houston. But <clears throat> yeah. So I asked you guys to ask me questions and I did answer a few of them in my last video. So just go ahead and watch that video to get a little bit of more questions and answers. I just wanna say I did say and a few clips forward that this is my first time getting bbl so some of the stuff that i had told y'all probably changed i mean that i'm still learning okay every day so what i mean by that is for example i told y'all that i think i told y'all that i wasn't wearing my foams in my faja no more but now i'm wearing my phones in my faja and now if i do get a second bbl i will wear my phones in my faja every day until my three months because i was just wearing them at night time but no you need to wear it 24 hours your phone's 24 hours so that's what i mean like i'm just i'm still learning every day y'all um i'm only human sometimes i don't even eat and i need to eat because it needs to my fat needs to be fed but I don't know these past couple of days i just have not had no appetite at all at all, at all and right now my body is like it's healing and it's trying to see how it's gonna heal so please make sure like you eat um please 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 like and you need to eat really good guys you need to be on a very good diet but let's get into these questions and i think i had a few questions about the diet and stuff like that so let's get started honestly it didn't hurt my bbl didn't hurt i got two procedures done actually i kind of got the procedures done i got lipo in my um stomach my back and i got my brazilian butt lift to bbl so my stomach was the worst out of all my back only hurt probably those first two days um as soon as i started getting my massages my back stopped hurting but like i have mentioned before i have had like back pain prior to getting my surgery done so that's what it was i had a lot of air in my back prior so yeah it was really very intense back pain as far as my stomach that it hurt the worst out of all like i said because um it's so tight in my back too whenever i don't wear my faja like whenever it's um washing because you're supposed to wear it 24 hours but you're not supposed to shower with it and obviously you need to wash it so within that time like obviously that's not 24 hours but um yeah, so whenever I don't have it on, it, my back, like, in my stomach, like, it's still very intense. So, my body is still moaning. It's still healing. So, yeah, but my back, my stomach, I'm sorry, my stomach, it felt like a very intense workout. 
like very 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 intense workout whenever i got up it hurt and me like i'm just a drama queen so me like knowing that i have incisions i have cuts that are open and i'm like putting pressure on them i'm gonna freak out so i was freaking out okay so by that first um that first couple of four days i could not get up by myself at all like i needed help because it just hurts so much you definitely need somebody a support system there to like give you that push because yeah it it hurts like you know whenever you work on your legs and you can barely get up well yeah imagine that on your stomach okay so yeah my butt did not start hurting me until my butt started to flare out my butt is still flaring out but whenever like it was first flaring out it definitely felt sore but nothing compared to my stomach stomach was definitely 10 out of 10 for me and if not that more like a 15 out of freaking 10 okay so yeah nothing um and the massages hurt more than anything um i am already six weeks and i know this is a five week update but i'm filming this whenever i am six weeks so yeah my um massages do not hurt anymore it gets better after that fourth week but it honestly depends who you get massages done with because i feel like if i would have been getting my massages done with my lady um i would have like not been in pain like it wouldn't have lasted me like it wouldn't have hurt to my massages i feel like it would have probably only hurt for three weeks but i was very swollen she said that i'm still very swollen as well not as much but i am still definitely swollen so um yeah um massages do get better they do i can finally go and just breathe without moving and tossing and turning because it does hurt but yeah that's only about that's only the that's about the only pain my pain tolerance is very low so if i could handle it i'm not even gonna say that i'm not even gonna say if i can handle it you can handle it because like i said everybody is different um so yeah it just depends like how your body just reacts everybody is just different and i honestly thought that i was gonna have so much downtime like i thought i was gonna be on bed rest for like for three months like i had appointments i had to schedule them three months out because i'm like i'm gonna be on bed rest da, da, da. no girl like yeah I, i'm so surprised on how like how, how i did right after surgery like i said um i am still healing you don't fully heal to i read eight months i mean a year in eight months that's what somebody had said i'm over here doing this i haven't even did my eyebrows whatever i heard that you don't fully heal until like a year and eight months so um yeah i definitely have a long time ago i am barely six months i did not feel no pain during the procedure um my brother told me that some people do wake up while they are perform performing surgery on you but um i did not wake up i feel like oh my god if i would have woke up mm -mm. i definitely would have told you i had a bad experience because <laughs> imagine waking up during surgery that's insane but people like the medicine is just not strong enough for some people so definitely just have that in mind because i'm like oh my god like i think i want a second round like not anytime soon i don't think so i need to see how my body heals i can tell you this now and i'm gonna get one in six months from now but um yeah no some people just the pain tolerance i mean just the medicine is not enough for them so they wake up during the surgery and yeah thank god i did not wake up i sat through it all my butt definitely does jiggle now it is still very very tight um my blood cells are still they're either small i don't know what my brother says they're either they're still little my blood cells are still little 
they're still flaring out and they're still learning how to grow in that area so yes um but it does definitely has a jiggle to it but it's still tight so yeah um and i am not in pain my massage is a little bit like before the massages were like a 30 out of 10 i'm not kidding you it hurts so much if you've been watching my youtube videos like you know like how i struggled with that and now they're definitely getting so much better i don't know how long i'm supposed to be going now now she's doing ultrasounding on me um so yes but pain anywhere else my butt kind of still hurts a little bit because it's still it's flaring out like even more so yeah my hips do hurt as well whenever my massage lady does my massages she goes over my hips it hurts um besides that i'm fine nothing hurts me um yeah i don't know if i got a question about this but i do want to say that it definitely gets better moving around like com like comfortably um it gets better moving around it gets better getting up from bed it gets better showering showering it my third week it, it was good i was able to shower by myself used to rush by myself clean myself by myself um getting up comfortably from the bed definitely by the fourth going on fifth week and getting out of the car was kind of a struggle but now within that five weeks six weeks it gets so much better you guys so yes the recovery downtime definitely like some days i'm just like oh my god i say downtime because we can't really do much 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 much, much. but um recovery definitely is a kick in the butt okay because I'm just going to get back to my normal routine, to my normal life. But it's going to all be worth it. I'm so excited to see how my body um, is after this. Sometimes I look at my body and I'm like, what did I even get done? Like I have body dysphobia. I think that's the word. But I look at my body, I'm like, it literally looks like I got nothing done. Like, I don't like it. Not the doctor. It's just me. Like, I just feel like it looks like my normal body. Some days, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, my butt looks so big. Like, my waist looks so small. My hips definitely are there. Um, And sometimes I go back to, I think I want a second round. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Whenever I don't eat. <clears throat> because, like I said, I'm only human, you guys. Like, Sometimes my body just doesn't want food. Like, sometimes, like, stuff happens. Like, I'm sick right now, so I don't have an appetite. So, then I start thinking, I'm like, it doesn't even, like, I'm going to, I'm not going to like my results when I finally heal. Like, I just have a lot of, <coughs> Josiah better not leave that in there. Josiah edits the videos. He better not <laughs> leave that in there. Hopefully I get to edit before him. But sometimes I definitely do have like, not doubts, but I don't know what you would call that. Where I'm like, I'm going to need a round two. And now, now I don't have doubts or I don't have regrets. Like I shouldn't have dated. Like I should have found my body alone. No, definitely not. Because I definitely want my, wanted my body done. And I don't regret getting my body done. But it's more of the results. Like I feel like I'm not going to get the results that I want with the round one like i need a round two for sure so yeah what was the question i do love my results um though do not get me wrong um i just feel like i would have been more in debt of what i told him it was just five o'clock in the morning like what the hell i was still waking up i only got like three hours of sleep but yeah, that's just the only thing. But you know, I could always get around too. But think about it is do I wanna go through this downtime, through this recovery again? That's why if anything, I would want to get it around my six months because um 
it wouldn't really be like that much of recovery time left if i'd rather than i wait and then do it like two years from now and then i have to wait a whole year like my second round would go into my first round's recovery time so yeah and then i'll be more like knowledgeable of what to do honestly it's because i didn't really watch no youtube videos or nothing like that but like I said, everybody is different. So like me, what I'm telling you won't even probably apply to you. You know, like it just depends like on the person, honestly. Some people are different than others. Some people have to wear foams like a 360. I don't have to wear foam 360. I just have to wear my hips and uh, the like the um, bottom lower my belly. You know, like I don't really, everybody is just different. So I hope I can help whoever though. Like I hope you guys watch my videos and you guys learn, you know. Um, but if not, to each its own. Maybe another video would help you. Maybe another person would help you be more knowledgeable for you and your experience. But yeah, like everybody is different. I'm gonna continue saying that. I'm gonna continue screaming that. I'm gonna continue because. It definitely is true. Like I said, I never watch no videos. I did watch about four of them, okay? And I didn't watch the full video. I watched um Oh my god, what is her name? Natalie. I watched Natalie's video and I could not finish it at all. I watched it right before my surgery and girl, she was making me want to call my doctor and say never mind because she reacted so like, oh my god. I don't know, I just, I could not watch her video. I watched Britney's video and Britney's video made me feel so much better because I'm like, okay, like she's doing good, you know, like good. Like I'm excited about my surgery now. And I watched these other videos. Um, they were just videos to watch before I reveal. I think that was the title, literally. I don't know who the, the YouTubers were, but yeah. Um, I don't know was. I wish somebody would have told me, I don't know, because he's, like I never talked about, like I never told nobody I was getting my body done, um, the YouTube videos I barely watched, but <clears throat> if I was in y'all shoes, I wish, it's not the same thing as wishes, what somebody would tell me, I wish somebody would have told me the downtime, like the recovery time how long it's gonna be, how long I'm gonna be recovering, um, just so I can like prepare. Cause I didn't really know how long it was gonna be until afterwards, my brother told me. I was like, what the fuck? Like honestly, I don't think I would've gotten it done if I knew it was gonna be like over a year long of recovery time. Um, honestly, I'm just kidding, I would've got it in. But I don't know if somebody could've told me. I wish somebody would have told me. Well, I could have told myself if I watched YouTube videos. But I wish somebody would have told me more like about the massages. And um, I wish people would tell me what to eat. Like good meals. Because I'm struggling, girl. Like that's what it is. I wish somebody would have told me that. Like what foods to eat. Shit, because I'm struggling. My doctor... Um, was Dr. Shu at Me Aesthetics in Miami. Um, <clears throat> you're able, you might think that you're skinny, but you probably do have fat on you. Um, enough fat for a BBL, at least. So, you just have to, um, just do your consult. Me Aesthetics, the consult is free. So, yeah, some places do charge for consults, but with them, it is free. It is over the phone. You don't have to go in person. So, 
yeah they'll be able to tell you your bmi if your beam if your weight is um good for the bmi so you can um go to surgery i definitely had been considering bbl for not considering but like dang like i want a body like that for about like two years um but i just i was just scared you know hearing girls experience more of like deaths and stuff like that um i was like oh my god and maybe it was the like t number one worst procedures to get done um so i was like i don't know like i'm scared like it, i just was really something like if it's not broken don't fix it for a while but i just had an impulsive thought and i was like i'm just gonna do it and i sent my deposits and now here i am in this predicament talking to y'all about my experience it's so crazy never i would have never thought that i would have had a video this young really this soon ever 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 but like i said i do not regret it um i definitely feel more confident well duh because i was a big bad bitch but yeah i love it and don't be surprised if i get around to money i know right now I want to look like an ant. I want to look like an ant, but I want to have an ant body. Like, my next inspo would be me showing him an ant. Because I want a bubble butt like that. And I just wanted to let y'all know that. Whenever people comment and say that my butt doesn't match my legs and it looks so fake and da da da, it honestly it makes me so happy. Like, I don't even get offended. I laugh. I don't accept the comments, though I, I do not. But I laugh, and it just makes me so happy. Like, you can tell my butt's fake, be real. You could tell. It looks fake, doesn't it, huh? Like, I know I did not go through that. All that fucking pain, all that just for my butt to look natural. Like, it better look fake. The fuck? You better be able to tell with Dr. Shrew in Miami that me aesthetics. I am not able to sit on my butt. The calm sitting. Excuse the mess. I am currently doing my room. So everything's in the box. But that's how I am sitting. My butt is not touching nothing. I'm on my pillow. Yeah. Oh, I do want to say that sitting down on your butt definitely gets better too. Because I didn't know how to sit on this pillow at first. My brother said he's sitting all the way down to my fucking knees. Can you imagine how uncomfortable I was? Can y'all? Yeah. But now I figured out a way to do it. So, yeah. You just gotta learn, you know. You, you're, but you just have to. It's something that you just gotta, like, mold into, for sure. Yes, I am still getting my massages. It has been um, a month and one week. And I am still going to get my massages. Um, right now she is doing uh ultrasounding on me to break down the fat even more. So yes, I'm still getting those done. Guys, please make sure that you I'm gonna always say this too. Please make sure you guys find like a good person to do your massages. Don't let anybody just go work on it please because that's the most important part that's what's gonna get you snatched that's what's gonna make you or break you okay seriously it gets that serious because some people just focus more on draining you rather than sculpting you and you need to get sculpted and drained like you need both of that you just don't need one or the other you need both okay Oh, and also, I didn't get this question. I think I got it. I don't remember. Um, something about my draining tubes. Um, this and that. I did not get draining tubes um, at the facility facility that I went with. 
they do not um do that for lipo they only do it for tummy tucks and my brother said a lot of places don't do tubes for lipo no more because it leaves like a very ugly scar so if or you're getting your procedure done out and they do um do tubes tell them to not do no tubes and if that, that's not an option find some rules because your scars are going to be disgusting my scars i did not get tubes and my scars are definitely ugly i definitely need to get uh something done to they're not that bad but they're definitely there so yeah a treatment to get them removed i was not expecting them fucking massages to hurt i was not expecting i didn't even know i needed to get massages actually i'm lying because i did watch britney's and natty's video but I did not expect them to hurt that much, you guys. Like, oh my god. It's definitely, it's not even tolerable. I'm not going to say it's tolerable because I don't even know how I did it. But that's that's the reason why I'm thinking about not getting around two. Because anywhere you get lipo, you need to get um, like massages. So I'm like, okay, if I get fat from here, if I get fat from my arms, fat from my thighs, I'm still going to need massages. Well, honestly, I don't even think that it would hurt that much anywhere else. So I just think the stomach, like, oh my god. That hurts. It hurts. I'm currently itching my faha right now. <laughs> um, I cry. I definitely did cry. Um, and I wanted to rip. <coughs> like, right now it's itching me. Because I was, like, slanted down. Um, it, it, up to this day, I am. The more tighter you go for your faha, it's going to continue to, like, itch and stuff. But that's good. Like, I just think of it like, it's good, you know. Like, that means I'm getting skinny. Because, yeah, that means it's doing its work. If it itches and shit, it's good doing its work. But honestly, sometimes, like, I don't know. Like, I cry. Like, I'm not kidding with y'all. I cry like this this right here how it like goes in oh my god oh but i do want to say that wearing your phones in your faha definitely does help because um if you don't wear your phones or i would say get a compression shirt i need to order one of mine's um but get a compression shirt um or wear your phones under it because it does help because if it's just your faha and skin to skin and you walk in and stuff like that you are it's gonna be really red it's gonna sometimes um you're gonna get cuts and then they're gonna get pus in there because you keep putting it on girl yeah i currently have a cut with pus in it right now that's disgusting but that's reality of it okay um yeah and it's gonna cut you and it's just that's not fun so yeah, wear your phones in it. Um, don't because it itches you and stuff. You're gonna loosen it up and go to the uh, loose faha. Do not do that because you're never gonna be in shape. Okay. It literally looks like I'm not even doing my makeup. I think that this light is bright. It literally looks like I'm not doing nothing to my face. What the hell. Um. You have to eat good, like, I mean, like I've said in the last video, you got surgery done. Like, you don't want that to go to waste. Like, now you have to really watch what you eat. Now you have to put yourself on a strict diet. Like, you do, because you, you did not go through all that pain just to go eat a burger and fries.